Welcome back to more Sunday League football with our reserve side. We're counting down the weeks till the proper season. This one today is another pre-season game. We're facing up to a side called Corrinham Forest. Not Nottingham Forest, Corrinham Forest. This side is a newly formed team for this season. They'll be in the Division 4 of our league. That's the one we've literally just been promoted from. And of course, where all new teams start these days. They've got a few familiar faces in the squad from teams we played over the years, including Stanford Town, a very good side. So hopefully we're in for a good test. As for you, plenty of goals to show. I think we'll go straight into a starting lineup for today. In between the sticks, we have a Sean. Then it's a back four. Left back is Wayne. He's been playing plenty of games recently. We've also got Gonzo Greavesy at centre back and Jordan on the right. Into the midfield, it's a trio of Pud. We've got Ains and we've also got Liam. And then up top today, was as happy. He's up there alongside Callum and Hassan. Onto the bench, plenty of firepower. We've got Perry, we've got Newby, we've got Mike. Scottish is there as well. And also Shove, potentially. I say potentially because this is the state of him at the moment. So I think we'll crack on without him today. Maybe he can join us in a bit. The sun is shining with both Charlotte and Andrew away today. I'm on camera duty. Fingers crossed you approve of my panning. In the meantime, should we just get on with it? Let's. Let's do this. All right, so we're going to start things off on the front foot here. Put closing down his man here. Ball becomes available on this near side for Wazza. Navy Shorts. Listen, I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. He puts the ball through to Callum, who lets it run. He goes through to Hassan, who does pretty much the same thing. Callum gets the shot in there. That's just past the post. Unlucky. Corrin him in possession inside their own half. Ball's played into the number eight. You can see Put from the first minute. Been on a bit of a rampage. High pressure from him, and he's done well to win it back for us. He plays it up to Callum, who turns away. Puts it into the box. He's on the edge for Ainsley here. Takes one touch. Lines it up with the right. Oh, come on. Oh. Here's Greavesy now, playing the ball out to Wayne. First time inside to Greavesy. It's nice stuff. Are all the defenders getting to get involved in this move? Looks like they are as Greavesy puts it out to Jordan. He gets that one under control and then looks for an outlet. I think he's looking for Callum here, but the number six intercepts that one and puts it out for a throw. But this one is out of bounds. New balls, please. We've got a new ball and it's Jordan sending that new ball into the box. Actually nodded on by the defender there. Inside to Pud. He lays it back to Callum. One touch. Strikes it with the left. Keep with the save. But was on the follow-up, but he heads that well over. Coronan finding some possession now as the ball's played out to number 10 on this near side. Ainsley's on his case, but 10 does well to get away from him. He then sticks it past Pud here into the number 7 who completely slices that and that is out for the goal kick. Sometimes in football you can get away with things. Ainsley, not so much there. So it's number 7 that's going to send this one into the box. It's towards the 12, but Jordan gets the last touch and that is out for a corner. Seven's going to take the corner as well. He's on the set pieces and it's a low one through everybody. No one got onto the end of it and that rolls out for a goal kick. Here's Wazza on the throw. Yeah, we've got to definitely sort those shorts out and he's sent it up to Ainsley who puts it back to Callum but looks as if he's going the wrong way here. Tries to turn but loses out to the number eight. He sticks a lovely ball through for the 12 who's beating the offside trap. He's in on goal here. Sean's off of his line and makes the save. Gonzo's there to clear the loose ball. Throwing now over the far side for our opponents. Down the line it goes. Looks to go in there but Wayne blocks it. Half clears and as it falls on the volley for this lad here. Sean makes the save there, down low, and uh, picks up the ball the second time of asking. It was a slow start from Corinne, but they're uh, coming back into this one now. It's 10 into four, puts a lovely ball through there. I think that's a full team, but can't quite get onto it, and Sean's there to make the save. Would have been offside anyway. Flag has gone up. Time for a throw in. It's Jordan into the box, it goes. Headed on by Callum, falls to Perry. Help! Oh, what a save. Yeah, it weren't bad, was it? That's a corner. Jordan's on corner duty as well as that goes in. Callum gets a touch to it, but that is way, way over. Here comes 14 over that far side, looking to get Corinne on their way, but that's clean. Perry takes the ball back effortlessly there as he goes beyond the number seven, rides the challenge of the 14 who looks to get it back. He's going to open up from distance here. Oh, I love it. Brilliant, Chances are coming in thick and fast now. It's only going to be a matter of time. Looks like Noob is on the field. In fact, he doesn't look like it. He is on the field. I can confirm. He puts it out to Callum on that far side, but the flag goes up. And it has to be said, that's very honest from our own linesman today. Scottish is doing the line for our opponents. They don't have enough people to do it, so we're, we're doing a good deed. Wayne in possession now over that far side as he puts it inside to Liam. He spots the run of Perry, who's inside the box at this point. Can he get anything off? Doesn't look like it, but Noobie's going to take over. Gets the shot in. Oh, what a save. It was that good. I couldn't even contain myself. Anyway, the ball came back out. Ainsley put it across. And here's Perry once more. Puts it back to Jordan. Takes a touch here. Can he get it into the box? No, he loses that to his man. And that attack dies out. Not long after that, the ball falls free to the number seven in the middle of the park. He puts it over the top for the 12. Puts doing his best to keep up and slides in there. Great tackle, but it falls to the 14. That's a great save from Sean. That one goes over the bar and out for the corner. All, right, all set pieces today. It's coming in from the number seven. Off at the back of the number two. Chest from the number six. Volley, deflection, poked home by the number 12. And we find ourselves 1 0 down here. We've had chances of our own, but the deadlock has been broken by our opponents. And it comes from a corner. Great control there with the chest from the number six. The volley. I think that might have been going wide, but it was a wicked deflection from Jordan. And there was number 12 in the right place to poke that past Liam. And just like that, it's Palmer's FC nil. Corrin and Forrest won. As you know, plenty of subs. People need the minutes. Here's Mike. He's been slowly topping up his minutes over the weeks, but give him time. Hopefully, he'll be back to his best very soon. And so we kick off. Only a couple of minutes later, Corrin and are batting the ball around again. He's in possession with the number eight. He's going to shoot from distance here. Sean makes the save, but he parries it out to the wrong man. Boys! Yeah! Wow. Why are we 
you following it up? It's a great question from Graves here on the sidelines, but nobody was there. They were queuing up and uh, they've got the reward as well. We look back at it. It was a great strike from the number eight. It bounced just in front of Sean there who parried it out. You count the red shirts there. One, two and three in the box, but no orange shirts around. You can tell they want it more at the moment. It's Palmer's FC reserves nil. Corey Dome Athletic two. Not good at all, but we need a test. Kick off. There's Newby over the far side. Nuts. He's done the number eight there and the 15 as he brings it forward here. Eight's catching him up though. Takes him from behind. Probably wasn't happy with that nutmeg and that is going to be a free kick. And there's Newby doing a Sam there. So it's Perry that fancies this one from distance. Over the boy it goes, but that's wide of the goal. Unlucky. Now my friends, was the final chance of the half? That's an interesting one. We find ourselves 2-0 down. We've got a test on our hands. We're not exactly being outplayed either. We've had our chances, but some great saves from their keeper. To be fair to Sean, he's made some great saves as well. It could have been even more than 2-0. Who knows? But hey, half time. And as usual, if you want to grab our home or away kit for this season and other merch, you know where to go. It's in the description below. It's palmersfc.co.uk. Also, a shout out to this lovely lot on Patreon. They're going to be getting the 90-minute version of this game, amongst other perks as well. If you want to get involved, links are in the description below. So we're all ready to go. Was I still not changing shorts? And we're waiting for the ref. No sign of the ref. Oh no, found him. It's true, there were very little refreshments at the ground this week, but we are ready to roll. Should we do this? Of course. Let's do this. So it's not often that we're 2-0 down in the game, so this is going to be a good learning curve this half as uh, Newby throws it into the box. It's over everyone's head there, bounces. Was is going to get his head to it, but that goes wide of the goal. Trust me, Black Schultz, and that was a bullet header into the back of the net there. Wasn't to be. Corin and Fro over that far side towards the edge of the box. It's uh, fallen to the number four here, but good work from Gonzo there to get it back. Ainsley picks it up there, scoops it to Scottish, who loses that to his man. It falls to the number eight, but it's good hustling from Scottish and Ainsley there. Forces the number eight into a misplaced pass there. It comes to Wazza, who puts it through to Perry first time. He's in on goal. He's going to be one-on-one -on -one with the keeper and sticks it past him, but this ain't going to count. The offside flag went up, and yep, it was one of our own. Jordan this time. We've been very honest today. Hopefully, there's some good karma, because I know plenty of linos that would flag, or in this case, not flag, because, well, we're doing our opposition's line. Anyway, free kick was taken. Gonzo gets onto it, but it's off the back of his head. Number 12 looks to pick up the ball inside our box, but it's put that's on his case. Forces him to go back. Number 7 then whips it in. There's a free man at the back post who gets that down, plays it back to the number 8, takes one touch, tees it up with the left, but that one is over the bar. So really what we should be doing at this point is trying to get back into this game. But at the moment, we're just giving away corners. Newby's pass back there went out before Sean could get it. Hello, Kev, how you doing, mate? Anyway, corner goes into the box. It's over everyone's head apart from the man at the back post. who puts it back across goal. There's Liam to clear it off of the line. Could have easily been free, but it wasn't to be. Newby picks it up now. Now he's going to go on a surging run. He gets beyond the number seven there. He can't keep up. As he approaches the halfway line, he puts it forward for Callum, who's back on the field now. There's two in the box for Callum. I'll tell you how I know that. Inside info. <laughs> But despite having two, Callum went for the shot and that's over the bar. Over an hour gone and we haven't really tested the keeper like we did in the first half. But anyway, we come forward here with Liam's ball up to Newby. He's taken out by the 13, I believe it is. And that is going to be a free kick. And so it's Newby that's going to take that one. Into the box it goes for Callum, but can't get enough on it. Easy one for the keeper. We move on and we start at the back with Gonzo. He puts it up to Jordan here. Good touch from him to get under control and he's allowed to travel forward. He puts it up to Newby. I think you'll agree he's been the main man and at times just taking matters into his own hands. And he's created some space for himself as he gets the shot in there, but that is miles over. And by doing that, he's literally killing trees. Please don't do that, newbie. I like trees. I like turtles. I like turtles too. I like mini cheddars. I really like the smell of fresh cut grass. I like getting Old Kent Road and Whitechapel in Monopoly. I like beard oil. I like Disarano and Coke. Tastes like Dr. Pepper, which I also like. I also like betting on corners in football. Talking of corners in football, we've got one here. But the big question is, can we get a goal back? Newbie, short to who's that? That's Scottish there. He's going to send this one into the box. It's towards the back post. Gonzo there, but that is over the bar. I'll tell you what, it's been a disappointing game on our part, isn't it? But we're still trying here as Mike comes forward. Plays it down the line after almost falling over. Well, nobody. Newbie breaks into the box. That's a good challenge from the number six there and that goes out for another corner. It's Newby that plays it short once more to Scottish. He plays it back to Newby as he makes his way into the box. Well charges in but he gets past him. Taken out from behind by the 13. Yep, the ref has pointed to the penalty spot and we've got ourselves a great chance to get back into this game here. No doubts at all really is there as 13 stuck his leg in there. Trips Newby and um, he's even holding his hand up. He knows what he's done. He's going to have his fingers crossed that the keeper can save this. And let's be real, the keeper has made a couple of good saves but here it is. Yes! What up? Yep, newbie on target there as Palmer's FC reserves one. Corin and Forrest two. Kick off. Now only a minute passes as number two looks to put it through, but that's blocked by Ainsley. And now we're on our way here as he looks up and plays it into Callum. He's beating the offside trap as he looks to go around the keeper. Hasn't done so, but gets up to take the shot. He's blocked off the line, but falls back to Callum. Come on! I'll tell you what, it's absolutely crazy what a couple of minutes in a football game can do. We've leveled it up now, thanks to Ainsley putting the ball through to Callum here. And from there, I thought it might be the penalty at first, but keeper doesn't touch him. Callum does well to get back up. The shot was blocked, but Callum always alert there to fire that one home into the back of the net. And just look at Newby as well. First thing he's doing is getting the ball and bringing it back to the centre spot. We're going for the win, people. It's Palmer's FC reserves two. 
Corinne and Forrest to two. Kick off and game on. You've got to say, only 15 minutes left in this one as Ainsley puts it forward. Number two wins his header over Callum, but it falls to Nuba. You finds a bit of space here, shoots from distance. <laughs> Wow, not a bad turnaround, eh? 72 minutes gone in this game, and it was 2-0 to our opponent. 77 on the clock, and Nubi has literally grabbed the ball by the horns. There's the title, and we find ourselves 3-2 up. Don't think the keeper expected the shot from distance there, but hey, we don't care. All we care about is it's Palmer's FC reserves free. Corin and Forrest too. Wowza. Kick off. Not long after, it's getting a little bit scrappy in there. Legs all over the show at this point. But we come away with the ball. It's that man, Newby, there, who's uh, shoved to the ground by the number eight there. Nothing given by the referee. That goes out for a throw on this near side. And that throw is going to be taken by Jordan. Into the box it goes for Newby. He goes down again. Still nothing from the referee here. Newby gets back up, gets the ball, and uh, twists and turns. Gets past the number four and the number 15. Looks to put it into the box, but that's blocked. And now it falls to Callum. He's going to have a go now. And it's the number eight that's going to try and get it off him. His teammates tell him not to dive in. He's diving in. We've lost sight momentarily, but we've got it back. Callum does well to keep it in. Goes beyond two players there, but doesn't quite make it. As the ball's cleared, it comes off of the back of Liam's head. Perry looks to bring it down, but he's touched. That's straight into the path of our opponents, and they can get on their way. But Perry's saying otherwise. He drags back his man, and that's going to be a free kick. Liam definitely not happy with that. He feels we should have had a free kick or two leading up to this, and um, well, he's throwing his toys out of pram now. <laughs> Ref wants a word, but Liam's had enough. He's, uh, he's, he's, he's saying, see you later. He wants to be subbed off. Problem is, we have no more subs because uh, everyone's injured. There's always shove. Nah, maybe not. He's not ready. So the score completely turned around at 3-2. We've still got time to get another one if we want. Jordan skips past his man there and puts a lovely ball into the box for Perry. Oh! oh, 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 oh. Newby seems to be all over the show this game. He's up top midfield and at the moment in defence, pumping a ball forward for Callum, who's uh, got the number two on him. He cuts away. He puts a lovely ball to the back post for Jordan here, who takes a touch to get that under control. Cuts it back to Waza. Can he get a goal under his belt? Defenders are saying no, but he cuts it back to Wayne. I do love a Wayne goal, but unfortunately they are very rare as this goal kick's taken. It's only as far as Nubi on the halfway line. He goes past the number 13 here. Ball is bouncing. He looks up and shoots from distance. And that nestles into the back of the net. And Nubi has completed his hat trick for the day. And strolls off as if it was light work. He has literally turned things around in this game. Well done, that man. We speak about the first team a lot strengthening this year. The reserves have definitely done that as well. Nubi there. You've also got Callum. You've got Pud. And bringing the likes of Graham, Kieran, and Mike from the first team. It's going to be a fantastic season. Let's hope we can top it off with some silverware. Kick off. 85 on the clock now. Scottish wants a piece of the player. Playing the one-two with Newby here. Skips past his man as he breaks into the box here. Looks up and hits this one with the right. Not too sure if it was a shot or a cross, but either way, it's in the keeper's arms. We're into the 90 now, and the only thing they can do is drag back the main man, but ref doesn't see that one as Newby puts it over the top for Callum. He's bouncing. Can he get this under control? He does. Can he get the shot in, though? Fantastic tackle there from the number six. Ball still in play, though, as Callum keeps it in. Skips beyond his man. Has a little look up and puts it across. On the end of it is Wazer. He looks for Perry here, but doesn't quite make it. His number eight clears, but it's only as far as Newby. You heard it. Cool now. It's taken by Jordan. Short into Nubi. He puts it into the box here. It's over the number two's head. Falls to Perry. Gets it under control. Shoots. It's another corner. Scottish this time taking it short. And it's into Nubi. who looks to get beyond the number four. Does that. Makes his way into the box and puts it back for Ainsley. That heavy touch falls through to the number six on the post. Two minds and uh, he's giving away another corner. Can we get a fifth? Direct ball into the box this time from Scottish. Callum gets a head on it, but it's bouncing all over the show. It's going one way, then the other. Perry's missed it. Gives it to Liam. Liam misses it. That finds Ainsley. And on the turn, gives it to Wazza, who gets that under. Plays it back inside to Ainsley. Can he get the shot in? Defenders are on him straight away, and it looks like Corinne are going to clear. But no, Ainsley's battling hard. He's won it back for us. Nice little dummy from the ref there as that falls through to Scottish. He then puts it into the box. Keeper calls for it. Keeper grabs it. And that, my friends, is full time. <laughs> And there you go. What a turnaround in the end it was. It ends. Palmer's FC reserves four. Corrin and Forrest two. Despite the game not going their way for the majority of it, it was good to see them battling until the end. And of course, they got their reward too. Just one more preseason game separates the reserves from their season. It's a big one as well. It's against the first team. How do you think they'll get on? Let us know in the comment section below. And once you've done that, be sure to drop a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel as well. I see the stats. 43% of the viewers aren't subscribed. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Show your support. Click the bell for notifications. But all you need to know that every single Monday and Friday, provide both teams play you will have a game massive thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one <laughs> two nil when i when i come on four two at the end <laughs> scored again